Get all your football news as it breaks with Football Flash. How are we doing guys? Welcome to UFF Daily sponsored by Football Flash. So come to UFF Daily sponsored by Football Flash. So we're going to get straight into last night's games and the first one of course was Manchester United against Arsenal and I feel this is two points dropped by Arsenal. Now what you cannot fault last night from Manchester United was their effort and commitment. Some of those players probably the best they've played all season and it's kind of ironic that they step up as soon as they play us um, but overall Arsenal controlled the game um, sloppy goals to give away especially after going 2-1 up um, saying that Manchester United goals that they gave Arsenal were sloppy as well but it was that 20 minute spell right at the end of the game when Arsenal just completely dominated Manchester United and there looked to be only one winner. David De Gea saved Manchester United as he has done for how many years now? First goal was actually an error by De Gea, very unusual for him but he certainly redeemed himself with his performance in that last 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, like I said, two points dropped for Arsenal but in the grand scheme of things when you think about what we're trying to achieve and where we're trying to go, it's not bad. And if you would have told me before Sunday that we'll pick up four points from Spurs and Manchester United away, I think most Arsenal fans would have took your hand off. Um, in terms of Manchester United, I got to see at first hand what they are really like and whether all the talk of how poor they are is true. And you know what? It is true because they are poor. And um, Jose Mourinho has spent over £400 million to be Stoke City. Um, there were a couple of incidents in that game that were very reminiscent to the kind of things that Stoke City do. Uh, Manchester United were committing a lot of fouls to break up the play and stop Arsenal's fluidity. Um, I feel that Rojo should have been sent off, if not for the tackle in the first half. A second yellow, definitely when um, he decided to um, manhandle Aubameyang. Um, and then Mara Fellaini, what was he doing? The way he grabbed Grindosi's hair, seriously. And it was right in front of the referee. Um, so I suppose the only positive that we'll take from this is that this will be the last time that we play at Old Trafford without VAR. Because as of next year, they won't get away with none of this anymore, will they? Um, so next game we're going to go into was the Chelsea game and they lost against Wolves. Now I predicted a draw for this game, but Wolves were absolutely superb. And the Chelsea manager, Sarri, has came out and criticised his players. Um, talking about how luckluster they were and everything else. Remember they took the lead in this game, but Wolves, they're having a great season. And um, they pulled this one back, so massive three points for them. Um, and Chelsea... Yes, more points dropped and um, they're only in the top four on goal difference ahead of Arsenal. Um, last team we're going to talk about was Liverpool um, and they keep on the tails of Man City after beating Burnley 3-1. Um, but the talking point was the uh, bit of a heated exchange between Jurgen Klopp and Sean Dyche at the end of the game. And the reason for that is Sean Dyche was not happy with Jurgen Klopp's antics on the touchline because he was constantly remonstrating with the referee every time a Burnley player made a tackle and trying to, you know, encourage the referee to give yellow cards and bookings and fouls and whatnot. And Sean Dyche has taken exception to that. And um, yeah, like I said, they had a very, very heated exchange at the end of the game. Um, but Liverpool march on. So uh, what can we say? Spurs won last night. Um, and now they're back ahead of Arsenal. They all think they've won the World Cup. But listen, that's small club mentality. Here we go. Um, so that is it for today's UFF Daily. Sponsored by Football Flash. Links are in the description. I will be back tomorrow. Till then, I'll see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.